All right, so these little charge controllers have been doing all right, at least for lasting a half decent amount of time. Same with this inverter, it's working pretty good. I'm going to start calling this the poor man system, even though these are kind of expensive you buy them brand new, but I'm getting them real cheap. Everything here is like the poor man style and everything on this side is going to be the rich man system because these are very expensive. And I may have got something here. Ooh. Yeah. We're going to do unboxing of this later. And got something else. That's a big, big heat sink. No, I didn't buy these. I'm going to keep that away. It doesn't fall in the battery bank. I did not buy those. I did not buy this. Battery experts said that I could borrow these for a review. I've never used one of these. I've used the PWM version of that, but I've never used a, a MPPT version. So I'm gonna compare them to my, my cheapy tracers. I like these a lot, so I'm sure I'll like this one and that one even more. But we'll see if uh, if these produce more power than uh, the tracers do. <coughs> I also got the back panel for this. So I'll be taking those down because the back panel is going to be taking up a lot of space. And I got the panel that goes underneath all the where all the fuses go. So there's my back panel. It's a double, so I can get another inverter and put it in parallel. And then, I got that. So, lots of work to do. Yesterday I wasn't feeling well, so I didn't get anything done. But maybe today we'll get some work done. And one more thing. JW Solar USA sent me this. It is broken charge controller <coughs> I was looking at it and what happened was he plugged it he thought that he wrecked it but I don't think he did um, they say you're supposed to put battery side first then solar he, he did the other way apparently but what I f the only thing I found broken on this thing was this get this there we go this is the the load side there's a uh, some sort of resistor there and almost like a MOSFET or transistor well that is blown and then if you look over here this is the out so you got your solar in your battery out and your load out well if you look right there at the, the second from the left it's all melted and that's the load so that to me, that is what killed this thing. It's not what uh, what uh, Solar USA did, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll see what's going on here. We got today. We got another nice two. Uh, well, they're two different ones. This is a new one I'm trying. I haven't taken this one apart before, but that looks like another. Uh, actually, that one's different too. Interesting. They are cooled with fans. And uh, yeah, let's take these apart. All right, welcome back guys. I've made a video in uh, about a week or so, or at least posted one, I've made videos. This BMS controller, I absolutely love it. I recommend it. I'm gonna post a link for this in the, the description. You can get these in all different uh, um, S configurations. But I love it. It's a great BMS. I'll show you right here. This is the same one. I bought seven of these. Three came in the mail so far. Uh, I wish that somebody in the U.S. would start making these because I'd buy them. Uh, even if they're a little bit more money. I got one on this little pack. And this pack, the pack is not balanced at all. Like these cells, this came out of an old bike battery electric bike battery and they are horrid like some of them are really good some of them are okay 
but I salvaged what I could. I needed a certain voltage. Um, so I top balanced them with this BMS. And the great thing is, is this BMS shuts the pack off when they hit three volts. So whichever one hits three volts first, doesn't matter if the other, other batteries at 3.5 volts, the pack shuts down. And then when I charge it, it, I can watch it balance, but it only has to balance the first few times you charge it and then it top balances them and then they're in sync and it only has to maintain that once in a blue moon, which works really well. I really like this BMS. It's got lights that light up and it tells you, see there's uh let's see if I can zoom in here. Hold on, focusing, see there's battery number one. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, all the way to 17, which I don't have, I only have 16. But uh, it tells you which, oops, tells you which cell needs to be balanced, which is awesome. I'm very happy with this. I w I've used it on a massive pack. I've used it on a very small pack and it's worked flawlessly. This one's okay. This this is just some BMS I got. It was like 30 bucks or something. It's working. Um, I've checked it all. It all works just fine. So I've checked the balance. It works fine. But I don't get to see anything. With this, this one, it, it just works so much better. And this balances like crazy fast. Like when you put your finger on the back here when it's balancing, it is warm. Like you can really feel the, the heat. Um, coming off of it where this I haven't felt heat come off that yet so I'm thinking uh, this one balances a lot more than that one does anyways so I'm gonna be replacing that one with this and I hope to be getting another one of these in the mail or I might just be taking this and sticking it straight I got the soldering iron going on my newest battery. I asked, the guy said he's got some other lithium batteries. He said they're lithium ion. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'll take some lithium ions. And so he brought me these. Well, not these, they're in a big massive case with the motor circuitry, control circuitry and the charge uh, controller part and the BMS and all that crap. And then, so this is the battery. It is water cooled, as you can see. It doesn't have to be. That's only for uh, really quick discharges like a, a hybrid has. It is 55 volts at the moment. And everybody's like, oh, oh, don't zap yourself. Don't worry. 55 volts has a really hard time making it through your skin. I feel absolutely nothing. Um, if this is 120 volts or 130 volts on the other hand, you'd slightly feel it. Or maybe if you had really, really... Um, no calluses at all. You might feel a slight tingle. But anyways, this, I don't know if it's gonna say anywhere on this one. It said it on this one. These are 500 watt hour packs. So this is 500 watt hours. It doesn't even weigh that much. It weighs, let's say 15 pounds. 15 pounds and that's mostly because it's encased in aluminum everywhere. It's waterproof. Obviously it's gotta be waterproof if it can hold water inside. Uh, it's got o-rings everywhere this one I took apart as you can see and the failure point on this battery here let me let, let me focus again come on focus it's my cell phone today guys so it's not focusing too well see this point here that's where the balance lead comes off there is this tiny little glob of solder of some sort right there and that's a connection breaker if it if the, too much current goes through the connection breaks and then there is no output on the balance leads so I was trying to figure out I'm like what the heck this thing's got dead cells throughout like dead cell dead cell dead cell so then I took it apart and I checked the cells individually and they are all almost perfectly balanced nothing wrong with them at all and I did the calculations. These are 7.7 uh, .7 amp hours each, each cell, uh, at 65 volts. Uh, I don't know if that's their operating voltage or what, or just fully charged voltage. That's what I'm guessing is their fully charged voltage. Um, but 
this pack, I'm gonna, if this is close to 500 amp hours, this is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna build a sweet high discharge pack, either using another one of these, cause I, I'm really starting to love this inverter. The fans are turning on and off cause I'm pulling quite a bit of power. Uh, I got this running off of it through here, charging my, yeah, it doesn't look great, I know. I, I threw this together to go camping really quickly. Uh, we're gone for the weekend, I needed to run a fridge and charge chainsaw batteries from my Greenworks 80 volt. So, this is four Pirates. They're all kind of different battery technology. This is uh, 18650 cells. This is LiPo, this is LiPo, this is LiPo. These all balance up really well. These two have the most power because they are the biggest pack but not by a lot. Then this one comes in at a really close third, and this 18650 pack actually lags behind by quite a bit. This one went down to BMF, BMS cutoff voltage at, it was like 10.5 volts, way before any of these other ones did. This one was at 11 volts, this was at 11.2 and 11.2. So the 18650s, if you get that in your power, you do have slightly less power, but, they should last longer down the road. Like you should easily get 10 years out of these where 10 years out of these, you, you'll be close. You'll see, you might get it, you might not. But uh, yeah, there's a little update on how everything's going. This Powerwell is amazing. Every day it gets fully charged. Like just not too long ago, I was at 66 volts. Uh, not even enough power to keep the displays running on all these properly because the sun's gone down but uh, 62.5 volts cutoff voltage is 50 volts system is working amazing going to get the back plate for the magnesine inverter it's like this great big double size plate so I'm gonna be moving these because it's gonna be huge and then I have the breaker portion underneath that's gonna I'm picking up for this inverter so that's exciting and yeah, if this continues the next year to work extremely well, I'm considering buying a 6,000 watt version because I'm very happy with this inverter so far. I just hope it doesn't turn out to be another one of those inverters. That there is a terrible inverter. It's, when it's working, it's a great inverter. The problem is it, is it dies, it dies a lot. This one I fixed, I kind of fixed. So what I found, it can run half load. This is a 1500 watt inverter now. I think half the outputs, because it has five uh, output tr uh, transistors and five separate transformers. I think I only have like two or three of the transformers and the transistors working. So it's, it's about half, it's like 1500. And, but I'm happy with that. Just the fact I got it working again, that's, it, may, it is useful. I've been using it. I've been using this a lot with uh, this pack. Uh, just testing this pack out. But that will also run on these two batteries right here. So, anyways, I'm just about to put some balance leads on this and see how it goes.